the Smoky Stephen Mark. I'm Mark. I'm Steve. Oh, welcome or welcome back, y'all. Ooh, 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 ooh. Happy Saturday. Saturday, indeed. We have a Saturday video for you. We do, we do. It is short but good. We are actually going to be going into the kitchen. Mark's going to be making some more soup. I am. And you know we said we were going to give you a little Valentine's Day content over the next week and a half or so. And this is one of them. I'm so excited to share this with you. It's good, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's good. Little, 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 uh, what? Spoiler. Psst, we had it already. <laughs> yeah, we ate it. <laughs> we did eat it. It's a really, really, really good soup recipe. So, are you ready to make some yummy soup? Well, this soup I'm really excited to share with you. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. Actually, it's perfect for any time of the year. But we spritzed it up a little just for Valentine's Day. We are going to make some sweetheart soup, y'all. It's a tomato-based soup loaded with goodness, including some heart-shaped chicken meatballs that are to die for. You want to do it? Come on, let's go do it. So in my bowl here, I have one pound of fresh ground chicken. I have one teaspoon of fresh thyme. I have a half a tablespoon of fresh chopped parsley. One tablespoon of garlic powder. One half teaspoon each of salt and pepper. One egg. And we also have <laughs> one quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And we're just going to mix this together with our hands here until it's all uh, thoroughly mixed. And then I turned our mixture out onto a baking pan that's lined with parchment paper here. And we're just going to press it out until we get, oh, about a 7 to 8 inch square or rectangle. Just like that. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to bake this in a 400 degree oven. And until the chicken is cooked completely through and no pink remains, that'll be about 10 minutes. And be sure to check it with an instant read thermometer. It should read 165 or higher. Before I even did the chicken, I cooked off some orzo pasta for our soup. And that was about three quarters of a cup of dry, which will give us, oh, about a cup and a half to two cups of cooked pasta. Then I rinsed it under cold water to stop that cooking process because we want our orzo to be al dente. As far as the rest of the ingredients go, we have one cup each of chopped onion, celery, and carrots, six tablespoons of unsalted butter, three quarters of a cup of flour, one cup of heavy whipping cream, one can That'd be 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes, 14 ounces of diced tomatoes, 2 tablespoons of tomato paste. As far as our seasonings go, we have 2 tablespoons each of fresh chopped parsley and fresh minced garlic, and 1 teaspoon of fresh thyme. And then we have here uh, a cup and a half of fresh cauliflower florets. Oh yeah, and we can't forget our stock, 8 cups of good chicken stock. Meanwhile, in a large stock pot, oh yes, I am sauteing down our mirepoix. That would be our carrots, onions, and celery in our butter over medium-high heat until the vegetables just starting to sop a little bit and it's nice and fragrant. About five minutes. And then we add our seasonings <laughs> and a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper and we're gonna cook that for one additional minute and then our tomato paste oh yeah this is homemade tomato paste Stephen makes this dries out the tomatoes and grinds it up oh this is wonderful <laughs> and then we're gonna give that a stir until the tomato paste is all incorporated into our vegetables and you'll see it uh, you'll see it like start to stick a little bit to the bottom and then let it cook for about one additional minute all right there we go see how it's kind of kind of like sticking to the bottom there that's what we want that gives it a nice kind of like uh, all day cooked flavor oh yeah Building the flavors here. <laughs> all right, so we're ready. All right, so now we're going to add our flour. We're going to sprinkle this all over the top of our veggies there. And we're going to stir it up until you don't see any more flour remaining. And, uh, and then keep stirring and let it cook there. Yep, for one additional minute. 
Okay, so now we're going to add our broth in one-third increments here, okay? And we're going to switch over to a whisk, and we're going to whisk that up as soon as it starts to boil a little bit, and you'll see it'll start to thicken up a little bit here. That, I hope you can see that in there. There you go. And then we'll add our next third here. And so on and so on and so on. Okay, and now we add... Oh yes, our diced tomatoes, our crushed tomatoes, there, and our cauliflower. Okay, and then we're gonna give that a stir there, and we're gonna bring it back up to a boil. Then we're gonna reduce that heat and let it simmer until our cauliflower is nice and tender, and that'll be about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, let's talk chicken. <laughs> so my chicken did bake for a total of 11 minutes for it to be completely done. And it did temp at 165, actually 168. So we are good there, okay? And this is exactly what we're looking for. So now what we're going to do is we are going to cut little heart shapes out of our chicken here. <laughs> There you go, and I'm just using a one inch heart cookie cutter. So we're gonna get as many out of that as we can, and then all the leftover pieces here, we're just gonna kinda chop up into sizes like this and just set it aside because we're gonna add this to our soup later. And speaking of hearts, why don't we make some, oh yeah, some grilled cheese <laughs> Heart-shaped croutons. I mean, because why not, right? So I'm just taking, oh, about eight slices of, I have Italian bread here. You can use any type of bread you want. And I'm just cutting out um, little heart shapes using our one-inch heart-shaped uh, cookie cutter there. <laughs> and then we're just going to butter uh, one side only of all of our cutouts, however many you do. I did, uh, let's see, I think I have about 14 or 16 total here. You're done already. Okay, and then, oh yes, we're going to just uh, turn the, the butter side down, and we're going to top half of them with some grated sharp cheddar cheese. I mean, you could use whatever cheese you want. I mean, a Gruyere would be great. I mean, really anything. I'm a, definitely a cheddar fan. The sharper, the better. And then you're going to grill them just like you would a traditional grilled cheese sandwich on top of the stove. Well, that is, unless you just happen to have a dash griddle like this. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> Back to our soup. Oh, yes. So our cauliflower is all nice and tender and ready to go. So right now, we're going to add in our chicken. That would be our, you know, our chicken heart-shaped meatballs. And <laughs> we're going to add all those in. And here, I just wanted to show you uh, the, all the pieces that were left over. We just essentially kind of just ground them back up again just to use them. And uh, they'll all go back into the soup, okay? So we put that in there. And we're going to give that a stir, and then add our heavy cream, and uh, we're going to add that while we stir. Finally, to tie things all together, oh yes, we got a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Oh. And this, this next part here is totally up to you. That would be our orzo. So you can, well, you can add your orzo right now all at once, or you can wait and add it to each individual serving when you're ready to serve your soup. Totally up to you. But y'all, that's all there is to it. So let's serve her up. Oh my goodness gracious. This looks so good. Oh, here, check it out. Wait, let me show you the... Look right on top. There's our heart meatballs. Ah, our chicken heart meatballs. Keep you right on top there. And our cauliflower. Oh, oh, this smells so good. I can't wait. Oh, and our, our grilled cheese uh, heart croutons there. I put a little, um, let's see here. I put a little cut on it. Maybe you can just put it. Oh, that's cute. Put that right on the side there like that. Oh, right here. Okay, nice. And then we're gonna top it with some some cheddar cheese. Oh, I can't. This is just 
I know, I always say I can't. I, 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 I certainly can, you know. <laughs> Alrighty, daddy! <laughs> Sweetheart soup for you. <laughs>